it's amazing the way the mind works. You can either drive towards darkness and negativity, or you can try to fill yourself with light. Conquer 100 was this evil little plan that came up because of the pandemic. My world got shut down, and so I had some time on my hands. And people know when I have time on my hands, I come up with insanity. And so the Conquer 100 is 100 full distance triathlons in 100 consecutive days. So it's a 2.4 mile swim, 112 mile bike, and then a marathon, a 26.2 mile run. James did that every day for 100 consecutive days. People always assume I am running from something. I've got this terrible past. And so my answer to why is why not? Maybe I'm running towards adventure. Maybe I want to find out what the human body, the human mind is capable of. I love to push limits. My name is Aaron Hopkinson. Uh, I was also one of the wingmen for James Lawrence, the Iron Cowboy. Um, I rode with him 101 days, so it was 11,312 miles that we put on the bikes in 101 days. You do anything physical for 14 plus hours a day, you're gonna get hurt um, and you have to be able to adapt that. And there was moments where the pain was so high that I would actually black out and my team would have to catch me out on the marathon course until I came back to and then get going again. It was actually after we did the, the 50 uh, day challenge for all 50 states, um, the owner and creator of Bicycle reached out to me and said, hey man, I, I can visually see that you were in pain. I've read your book. I know you talked about some uncomfortableness that you had and he's like, I've got a solution for you. Are you open to trying it? And that, that put me down the road of, of working with Bicycle and creating what ultimately um, came close to the saddle that we used on the 100, which was unbelievable. Yeah, so what makes buy saddle different from traditional saddles is how you can change the width of your saddle. So you can have your nose super narrow, you have the back of it narrow, and so you can adjust it exactly to where you need it, to where you're right on your sit bones and where it's a comfortable sit and fit for you. Over a course of 100 days, a quarter of a year, comfort becomes so in incredibly important and so does managing injuries or saddle sores because that can sideline you. And when you have to spend five, six, seven hours a day in your saddle, um, it becomes super important. So we spent a lot of time um, figuring out the best fit for me. Well, I'm more of a nose rider, and so I ride more up on my nose of the saddle itself. And so when I put it more narrow, I eliminate a lot of like the chafing on the inside of my legs. It's more like right here is where I'm sitting a lot of the time. It's nice to get that saddle fit where I can get it right to where it's basically the shape that I need it to be and where it's comfortable and I don't have the excess kind of rubbing that I would get from no normal saddles. We did thousands and thousands of miles, 101 consecutive days. It was over 11,000 miles and I didn't go numb and I had no saddle sores, which completely blew my mind and was the goal going into this project as we were designing um, these saddles. People would come out and ride with us because they'd do kind of consecutive days like with us and then they'd be like, man, like how are you sitting on this saddle like this long? And like, I'm like, I actually feel really good. If I can do 100 consecutive days that long in a saddle, as a weekend warrior, you cannot miss. And there is a setup within the lineup here that'll be perfect for you to ride with in complete comfort. I think that's one of the biggest things I realized is that humans around the world, we all suffer at a certain level and we all have our own individual struggles. We all have our own perception, our own perspective, and we're all on our own journeys. And I also realized that everybody's heart is different. And no matter how beat or broken we are, we can show up and do one more.